Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. Now today we're going to be talking about triggers and uh, I know we're going to be talking specifically about the uh, MCR so this goes out to MCR owners and a lot of prospective MCR owners that because this is a bit of a minefield sometimes. Now that being said these triggers that we're going to be looking at today were actually made for the Armalite rifle model 15 so our friends down in the states might find some use out of this video as well. Well we hope so at least. So YouTube does not allow us to show you how to modify any firearm. So that is not what we're going to be doing today. We're not going to show you how to install anything. All that we're going to be doing is comparing a couple of different triggers. Now there's so many different uh, options out on the market. We obviously don't have access to all of them. So we've just selected a few triggers and separated them into categories. Our first one is going to be the stock trigger that you get with the MCR. Uh, similar to a mole spec, kind of to a certain degree. Um, the second trigger we've selected is the Hyperfire uh, EDT designated marksman trigger. Now this would be our mid-price trigger and for our high-end trigger, uh, which is more expensive of course, will be our Geisley SDC, that's the uh, Super Dynamic Combat trigger. So guys, uh, without further ado, let's head inside and uh, take a look at what they've got. All right, folks, now that we're inside and at the table, we're going to start our uh, trigger gauge testing. I'm wearing my blue gloves. That's just not to leave fingerprints on everything. Under these lights, fingerprints are quite highlighted. We're going to be using our Wheeler uh, electronic trigger gauge, and we're going to do a five pull um, average on each of them. All right, guys, so first up is the stock trigger from Spectre that comes with the... Uh, uh, MCR. This, it's currently installed into this uh, Cold Canada lower just for today's demonstration purposes and uh, I'm gonna try and catch the hammer because I don't want it to damage my lower. Not always successful but I'm gonna try. Also we're working around the camera here so I, I apologize for any kind of stutteriness. But uh, yeah guys let's get to it. Let's see uh, what the trigger pull is like. Let's try and get it in the same spot. First trigger pull, 7 pounds, 15 ounces. Second trigger pull is 8 pounds, 20 ounces. Third trigger pull is 8 pounds, 5 ounces. Fourth is eight pounds, three ounces. And our last one, is eight pounds, nine ounces. So that gives us an average of seven pounds, 15 ounces. As for the feel of this trigger, um, it's heavy. It feels fairly heavy, you know, and uh, that wall feels pretty hard to get through. It's not horrible. It's pretty serviceable. Let's try the reset. Reset's pretty short. Still heavy though. Again, it's not horrible. You know, it's very serviceable, but our community can be very picky about what they like. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, folks, we have our uh, Hyperfire EDT designated marksman trigger, and this one is installed currently on our WSMCR. So this one's going to be a little bit different because th this has two different trigger pulls. Apparently, the uh, bowed area is for normal use, and the flat area there is for more precision shooting. So we'll actually test both of those uh, surfaces uh, for a trigger pull. So here we go. We'll start with the bowed area, and that gives us four pounds, seven ounces. Second one was five pounds, one ounce. Five pounds, six ounces. Five 
five pound seven ounces. Five pounds five ounces. And our last one on the bow is four pounds eight ounces. So the average pull for the bow area is four pounds seven ounces. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to do the same thing now just on the flat surface, right at the tip of the trigger there. First trigger pull is 3 pounds 4 ounces. Second is 3 pounds 9 ounces. Third is three pounds eight ounces. Fourth is three pounds ten ounces. And our last one is three pounds eleven ounces. That gives us an average of three pounds four ounces per trigger pull. Pretty decent. Alright guys, let's take a quick look at the Hyperfire trigger pull. See there's pretty much no uptake and a nice and crisp break. Feels real good. Alright, let's look at the reset. Short reset. Beautiful trigger. Now this feels really good guys and especially at the price point, I think this is an excellent choice. Alright folks, so the Geisley trigger is the Geisley SDC trigger and it's currently installed in this uh, SLR. So uh, let's uh, take a look at that one. Alright, so here we go. First trigger pull on the flat trigger head. 3 pounds 13 ounces. Second one is three pounds, eight ounces. Third trigger pull is three pounds, 12 ounces. Fourth is four pounds and one ounce. And the fifth is three pounds, eight ounces. That gives us an average of three pounds, eight ounces. As far as the feel of this trigger goes, guys, this one is phenomenal. It's got a little bit of an uptake. That's because it's the SDC trigger. And feel that let off. It's just so beautiful. This is fantastic. There's almost, this just feels fantastic. So yes, if you can afford this, this is a fantastic trigger. For some, this might actually be a little bit, uh, well, if you look at the weights, it's not really, really light, but it feels lighter. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe this, but it feels the lightest of the lot even though the numbers are fairly close to the um, Hyperfire. Don't get me wrong, Hyperfire is a great trigger too. All right, guys, um, let's head back outside and uh, keep going. All right, guys, if you're still with us and you're still awake, you certainly deserve some entertainment. So in the next segment, you're not gonna learn anything. You're probably not gonna be able to see the difference, but since it's a gun video and you deserve some entertainment, uh, we're gonna roll in some footage of each of these triggers in action. Enjoy.
So there you have it, guys. Those are the triggers that uh, we were able to show you. Um, triggers are very much personal preference and budget related and kind of what you're going to get. Um, however, we do hope that you found this video useful or at least entertaining. Uh, and if that's the case, guys, please leave us a comment down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That seriously helps us to survive in uh, this ocean of content on YouTube. Um, YouTube also says that uh, most of our viewers aren't subscribed yet, so get in there, guys. Uh, if you're watching this on Rumble, please hit that plus button down below. And I believe there is a green subscribe button up here somewhere. Uh, hit that one too. Y'all stay safe and we'll see you next time.